Welcome to Edmonton, the home of what is considered by many to be the greatest hockey dynasty of all time, the 1980s Oilers. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Oilers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Puck scooped up by Hironic. Receives the pass. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And that's intercepted by Hoaglander. Poked away in the neutral zone by McDavid. Oh, what a save in front! Slides the puck over. Save made by the goalie. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Big time hit along the boards and there's no give there. Well, there isn't and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Demko's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. Pedersen's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Handles the pass from the right side. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. He's able to make a clean save on that wrister, James. A quick release shot, and he's square to it. Feeds it to Miller. Quick feed to McKayev. Blocked in traffic. Here's the pass. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Slick feed. Slides the puck across to Bouchard. Shot! Scores! And just like that, we got our first of the game. Bowder didn't even have a broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast. The coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. The well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Edmonton's early lead in this one, a direct result, Cheryl, of moving their feet. They're moving their feet and they're moving the puck. And this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free. And you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits and you get rewarded for it. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Keeps possession. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Vancouver's got it in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Garland. Oh, it's denied by Skinner. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing the score. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And he slides it quickly to Fogel. Oh, Take some strong up, physicality up. on the play. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Gaining steam here on the attack. Denied by Skinner. The Oilers gain possession. Perry's picking up steam. Grabbed along the board by Fogel. Good use of the body on the play. Moves it to Lafferty. Here's a chance on the attack. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Look out, here they come on the attack. And that's a smart heads up play by Brown. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Canucks are in transition. Long reach breaks up the momentum. What a steal in his own end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Blocked in traffic. 
Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Brown's got it in the offensive zone. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. With momentum in their favor, here comes the top power play unit already ahead in this game. You certainly know they can score from any area of the ice, and if they can get another one, the momentum is just going to continue. Coughs it up on the play. Quick pass to McDavid. Cuts to the front. Comes up with the glove save. Puck slid down the ice. Scooped up along the wall by Bouchard. Quick shot! Tremendous stop by Tenko! Hammers a shot! Handles the pass. Puck clears the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Over the pass! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The Oilers take over on possession. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. This power play group really has an opportunity to smell blood in the water. All I have to do is look at the body language of the fatigued goaltender right now, James. I mean, they've had puck possession, they've had the majority of it, and they found ways to move the puck and create opportunities. Now they just gotta finish. The Oilers are gonna be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Pat save at ease. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Pedersen's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Shot! Gets a piece of it to make the save! And he takes the dish. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save! Penalty killers get a hold of it. And they send it down the ice. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Comes to the point. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Off the rush and it's a three on one. Oh my goodness, what a save there. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Canucks are on the attack. Kane's penalty is almost expired. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins. There's the whistle as the play was offside. The Oilers have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Across the line along the left wall. And now he moves it quickly to CeCe. And that's blocked. Takes possession. The one-timer! Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Hughes defends well, but he can transition to offense when the opportunity presents itself. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Past the midway mark in this period. Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Demko's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. 
And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Edmonton's won the draw. Puts it on goal. And that's off Tuckman as it hits a body. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Beautiful read of the defensive end by Lafferty. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Here they come. Gets the puck in deep. Heronic stick handling in his own zone. Here they come on the attack. Edmonton's got the puck. The Oilers work it through center. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Break away. Oh, absolutely crush at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Let's it go. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Edmonton to open things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. Pass it down, pass it down. The Oilers win the draw. Slides the puck over to Brown. They've got the defense outnumbered. Great stick saved by Demko. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And that's blocked in traffic. Puck picked up by Suter. Moves it over to Hoaglander. Down the right side and into the zone. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Play rolls on. Takes the feed up ahead. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Nice defensive robbery on that. No question about it. He retrieves his nose and in on it, and then he has a nap for the net to finish it off. Edmonton's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. The Oilers get a hold of the puck. Fires it on net. Head saved by Tempo. Kulak's got it against the boards. Turns another aside. They've really got him on their heels here now. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Vancouver's in now. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked off by McDavid. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. That's not going to fool them. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Getting into the later stages of this period, Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. Passes over to Besser. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Bouchard. Feeds it over to Nugent Hopkins. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Through center. Edmonton's got possession here in the offensive zone. That's off a stick. Dishes it to Besser. Here's a short pass to Cole. Grabs control of it at the point. Tries to feed it over to Heronic. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Eckholm's gaining momentum. Handles the puck. Oh, he got all of that. And it's saved by Tenko. Bluger's got it on the offensive end. Big save. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand. And man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Edmonton's got the lead here late in this first period. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Along the wing up the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. 
Hughes has it in the defensive end. Now he takes it over the line. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Puts it on net. Tremendous blocker stop by Demko. And that's knocked away by McLeod. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to DiGiuseppe. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Late goings of this period. The Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. The Canucks take control of the face-off. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here he is on the backhand. Let's see what the officials say. Zadorov's going off to the box for two minutes. once again send out their power play unit. On the power play so far, they've been real tight to the net, James. They've got to find a way to go low to high and open up that white ice from the point. Slides it across to Cole. And he loses control here. Handles the pass at center. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Edmonton's won the opening draw, and their power play rolls on. Here's a chance. Oh, that just goes wide. yulson has got it in the defensive end and manages to clear the zone. Quick feed to McDavid. And it's a quick pass to Hyman. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Waffle boarded by Demko. Shooters work so hard in practice in getting the wrister off fast and hard, James, and this goaltender, he gets across quick and makes the stop. Dumps it into the other end. Nugent Hopkins carries the puck in his own zone. The Canucks gain possession. Great reach by Nugent Hopkins. Quick pass across to McDavid. Turns it aside with a glove. Demko is giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has to been under siege. I mean, his save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back. Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is far. Scores! Ryan Nugent Hopkins! Well, the backhand is going to beat the goaltender on this one, James, but I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. Edmonton's on fire tonight. They've now extended the lead to three here in the second. What I love about the puck possession, James, is they're doing something with it. They're not staying on the perimeter and just skating along the outside. They're sacrificing, they're driving the paint, and they're getting rewarded for their efforts. The Canucks played along the boards. And that goes off the player in front. Fogel's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a shot. Oh, the poke check. What a read by the goaltender. They've got numbers here. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Perry's got it along the boards. The Oilers played along the wing. Broken up by Miller. The Oilers have it behind the net. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. That's blocked by Demko. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Edmonton's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score and they have dominated in the shot clock too. Moves it to Eckholm. Great heads up play with the stick by Suter. 
The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Only just got enough of that to keep it out. Pass to Bouchard. The Oilers move it ahead. Puck dumped in. The Canucks have it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Zadorov. Quick pass to Heronik. Slides it across to Suter. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Lots of time left in this period. The Oilers are in cruise control, leading it 3 0. McDavid's won a big draw in their own end. Passes on over to Bouchard. Takes the shot. Turned aside with a glove by Demko. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Oilers lead here in the second period and they have been the more active team offensively. Vancouver's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. The Canucks are across the line and into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. The Oilers have been first on the puck all night long, and when you possess it, you find ways to attack them. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Now the whole bench is rolling wide because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Nurse. Jostled off the puck. Skates across the blue line. Fires it. Love saved me by Skinner. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Oilers lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they win the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to McDavid. Takes the feed. And he stands tall and goal. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Oilers are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. Edmonton's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Moves it to the middle. And an inner pass. And that shot's blocked. in a hurry. The goaltender can't catch up to it and it goes bar down and into the net. The Oilers have officially entered route country right now, Cheryl. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Good defense creates offense and that's exactly what they've done throughout this game and they've had a ton of shots on net. Bluger's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Cole's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot. And he comes up with a glove save. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Oilers have recently extended their lead, and it is a blowout. Nugent Hopkins wins possession off the draw. Now over to Yanmark. The Canucks take possession here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Di Giuseppe. Slides the puck down low. With possession along the wall. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Slides it diagonally to Yanmark. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And he passes it up ahead to Nugent Hopkins. And he takes the pass. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Kane. Works it across to CeCe. Suter's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Denies that opportunity. Quick cross ice pass to Perry. Poked away at center by Suter. Grabs the puck. 
Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. They are swimming around like bees here in the O-Zone. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Throws it in. Angles it over to Miller. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop by Skinner. What pressure here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. McDavid's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Battle along the boards. The Canucks have it now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Shot! He scores! And someone's heating up on his second of the night! Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, is showing off his skill set. Everyone always talks about how speed kills James, and that's exactly what happens here. He is so fast with the puck. He skates as fast with it as he does without it. And in transition off of the rush, he is absolutely lethal, creating his own space, weaving his magic, which is a fantastic pass to be able to finish it off. Edmonton's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Moves it to Mikheyev. It to the crease, and that's deflected off someone in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Miller's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Denies him with the save. Picked up along the wall by Miller. Vancouver's on the attack. From point blank range. Quick pass to Besser. Denied that one. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. A critical face off looming here. And let's see if they can maintain that offensive momentum. Well, you know that the defensive side is vulnerable right now with a tired tender. And on the offensive side, you got to recognize that vulnerability and you have to attack from it. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Takes it to the net. Big save in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. And he slides it quickly for Lafferty. Taken along the wall by Cole. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Taken by CeCe. And he slides it quickly to Gagne. The Oilers carry it along the wall. And that clangs off the iron. Edmonton's coaches will be happy with this game so far, James. They're generating a lot of shots. They're in the lead. Yeah, they've run them off the post a number of times, but you got to expect when you have possession and you're driving the net, you're going to get another one. Point blank stop by Skinner. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. Sent into the offensive zone. The Canucks have it now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Takes the pass. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Hughes is back on the ice. He's the captain of this team. He knows exactly what to do. A player that can settle him down, James. And he's going to have to do that if they want to climb out of this hole. 
The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Slides the pass over to Dreisaitl. Vancouver's in on the offensive attack now. And that goes off the iron and stays out. The Canucks might be down by a bunch, but they're still generating some offense. You gotta like the pushback in this team. Sends the pass over. Now a quick pass to Hyman. The Oilers will play it through the neutral zone. Broken up at center by Garland. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Centering pass. Picked off in front. Feeds the puck to Hyman. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Gains the zone on the left wing. We got a whistle offside the call. Edmonton's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. The Oilers win the faceoff at center. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. McLeod's getting two for tripping. The Canucks send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Skinner! Lindholm's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Skinner's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Gagne's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Clearing attempt. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Wow, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate and do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Hammers one at the net. What a glove save by Skinner. Nugent Hopkins slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he gets it. He might have a step here. All alone. What a save on the play. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. The power play only has time for one more rush here. Time is of the essence. You got to get the puck up ice quickly, and you have to gain entry fast. Skinner's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And off the draw, they win possession. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The clouds almost out of the box. And the puck check. Oh, smart play. Oh, wow, stops again. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Quick feed to the cloud. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. down one more to go both teams have time to get a refresh and we'll be back for period number three i'm fired up i know you're fired up for this too the moment of truth has arrived for both these teams third period action set to go they've dropped the puck here in the third and it's gonna blow out thus far let's see if there's any sort of response 
Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Edmonton's been dominant through two periods of play. James, they have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest. The Oilers have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Vancouver's won the face-off deep in their own end. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Hoaglander. Oh, what a hit on the wall! And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Skinner's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Scores! And they finally break on through offensively. Oh, and that's got to feel good, and they're hoping that the floodgates will now open because you know that they've had a real effective game. They've been hard on the puck. It just hasn't gone in for them, James, but they haven't gotten frustrated. They stuck with the game plan, and here they are. The Canucks are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Lindholm's won the drop center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Shot! Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by DeSmith. The Oilers have been bringing the fire offensively tonight, and they lead it early in this third. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Up along the wing. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And it's kicked away. Moves it quickly over to CeCe. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. The Oilers are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. Lindholm's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Jack along the boards. Gets the puck over to Lindholm. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Oilers don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Moves it to Hoaglander. Denied by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Nugent Hopkins and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. From the point, looks to make something happen. And there's the save on the play. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lindholm's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Canucks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. 
picks up the puck. And he had the answer on that one. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Hooked away by Echo. the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a successful clearing attempt. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Centering pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Gagne is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they win the draw on their own end. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Oh, a spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. And sneaks in and grabs possession. He got all that one. Skinner's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in. And that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. And now he moves it to Mikheyev. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And that pass attempt is deflected. He grabs the puck here at the point. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Cole. Big time stop. Skinner's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Kulak the boards through the neutral zone and they'll dump it in here's a short pass to Hughes gains the zone through center dropped him in the open ice and he takes the feed shot and that one's turned aside forces the turnover looks to set up at the point now the Canucks get a hold of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Garland's got it to the side. Tries to get it to Gagne. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Quick feed to Gagne. What a steal in his own end. The Canucks take it along the wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Moves the puck. And it's a quick pass to Hughes. Blocked in front. Takes the feet at the back end. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Hoaglander. Sends a pass over. Stones him in front. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Vancouver's got it and they're on the attack. Log jam in front, that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Yulson. Fantastic save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. 
Patrick Holmes taking it from his own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Fires it on net. Shuts him down. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Miller's got it in the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Pass back to the point. Denies the slapper. Denies him again. Three reflexes, another save. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. Here's the official call. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You've got to find a way to just reset your composure. Another chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Tries to feed it over to Lafferty. Vancouver's got him along the wall. Picked off by Perry. Edmonton's on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Quick shot. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Bluger's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Canucks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Looking to break out here on the power play. And he slides it quickly to Kane. From center, they get into the attacking area. And that's poked away. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Moves it to Eckholm. Stops him with a glove. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? Bluger's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Shot! And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the O-zone. And there's a hit with a little violence. And they skated out of the danger zone. Quick pass to McLeod. Vancouver's got the puck shorthanded. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable league and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looks comfortable. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass down low. A chance right in front. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Cole. Miller's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Big play inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Dreisaitl. Scrum along the wall. McDavid stick handling in his own zone. Oh, look at this chance. Puts it on there. moment for a player and athlete here, James, but to do it at home and have all of those caps fly out on the ice, it's a pretty special one. How'd you like to play with him? Hey, James, I know that my stats certainly would have elevated. I mean, it's his crisp tape-to-tape -tape passing. When it lands on your stick, you can almost feather it in. He's unbelievable. 
The Oilers probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Oh, my goodness, it's Tina. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Brown's got it across the line. Here's a pass down low. Quick feed to Gagne. Right off the goalie mask. And he takes the feed. And that one's denied. as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Edmonton's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Who had the better night? Carla is standing by. Hughes came out and showed us what his finishing touch is all about, guys. I liked his offensive game, and I'm giving him the edge in this one here. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Dishes it to Lafferty. Intercepted. Here's a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Slides the puck ahead to Bluger. Receives the pass. Oh, stick save for the butte. Tosses it to Gagne. He carries the puck up along the wing. Battle along the wall. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight.